A very good morning to all of you and welcome to the Sunrise Safari. Everybody enjoy, should enjoy a lazy morning every now and again. A little bit of a lion, I say wistfully, including, or especially, a female hyena with cubs. It seems as though Ribbon was just repositioning herself to lie a little bit closer to wherever her cub is sleeping. And she's gone straight back to sleep. So for our new viewers, let's do a little bit of an explanation as to how this whole thing works and what it's all about. We are coming to you live from a place called Juma Private Game Reserve, which is in the Greater Kruger National Park area of South Africa. And because it is completely live, 100% live, first of all, we never know what's going to happen. And second of all, it means that you can interact with us using the hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. Any questions that you would like to ask or comments that you would like to make. I suspect, Fergus, it's probably time for me to introduce myself as well at some point. I mean, I'm happy not to, but it might be a little bit confusing to have a disembodied voice coming from somewhere in the direction of the hyena. People might start to get confused. My name is Jamie, and this morning Fergus is on camera with me, and we're enjoying a nice, relaxed morning by the hyena den. It's a fly on the camera. There we go. Got rid of it. And hopefully we have all kinds of exciting things in store for you. Ribbons up. Come on, come bring your cubs out for us. Or cub, and mystery cub. We've had some confusing things happening at this hyena den recently. Right, now Ribbon, don't do what you did the other day, which was just stand there, hopefully. Now you've got to call them out. Otherwise they won't wake up. They're teenagers. They need a wake-up call. Come on, what have you seen? She's seen something. Something's attracted her attention. Perhaps another hyena coming to visit? Oh, and I see little, I see a little face emerging at the den. Hello. <laughs> Aren't they just the sweetest? Right, I think on this, hello, there's the older one. This is amazing. The older one's off to the right there, Fergus. Can you see it? They come both of them now. Look, that hyena is definitely older than that one. This is so weird. Morning. How did you lot sleep? Did you have a good night? Now, of course, we're in the worst possible position, but I don't want to start up the engine because that older cub is very, very skittish of vehicles, and we've only just started to change that. There's a third cub. No? No, it's still the... What's going on here? No, it's still just two cubs. This whole process, this whole thing is very confusing. Ribbon had two cubs. I think it's safe to say at this point, one of them didn't make it. Oh, <laughs> I was so happy to see mom. I don't know who this older cub is. I mean, it. Are you so excited, huh? <laughs> Michael, I have absolutely no idea. Michael wants me to, or wants to know who I think the older cub belongs to. I guess it's possible that it's Gwen, but that <laughs> Hi. Hello, Fluffball. What have you got to say for yourself? That, no, it's not possible that it's Gwen. Gwen's cub would be a year old. That cub is not a year old. Hello. Good morning. Would you like to come and smell what I've been driving in in the last 24 hours? Oh, no, maybe not. I don't know, Michael, I'm really confused. The only thing I can suggest is that we have to wait until this older cub's mum comes back. It's not, it can't possibly be Gwen. That is not a year old hyena cub. And I mean, if I had to guess, it's okay. <laughs> Panicking each other. <laughs> Look at your turn of speed. My goodness, it was just yesterday that you were wobbling all over the place and falling down. 
Hey, you're not so brave without your sibling, huh? They always encourage each other. It's all right. And back again. Look, look at me. Look, I can run now. Geeky Beth, I don't know if Ribbon's taken in a stray. I mean, it doesn't happen. Hyenas do not aloe suckle, says the textbooks. This cub is sniffing at Ribbon's nipples. It wants food. It's hungry. And they might lick every now and again. But hyena researchers across Africa agree that hyenas do not aloe suckle. Fortunately, if we do see this cub suckling, no, you see Ribbon's nipping at it. She's going to get cross with it. Well, we'd certainly have one to send something to send hyena researchers. Look, the animals don't read the rule books, but it would be contrary to all understanding that we have of hyena behavior. Lions aloe suckle, yes, because they're related to each other. Hyenas do not. So who on earth does this cub belong to? Where did it come from? Where has it been hiding? Who on earth is mum? And like sands through the hourglass, these are the days of our hyena lives. Right, Tristan is out and about as well. He's found you a bird.